Today, I'm looking at Runway ML's new Gen 1 platform. This is a platform that lets you take a video file and an image file and sort of mash them together to get like a cool effect like you're seeing on the screen right now. Now, this is the demo reel that they put out, but in this video, I'm gonna play with it myself and see what I can make out of it. So let's get into it. So as of right now, Gen 1 is only available inside of Discord. And if we look over here, there's only a little over 200 people that have access to it right now. And I luckily was able to get early access, but if you're interested, interested in getting to experiment with Gen 1, there's two things you've got to do. Number one, you got to head over to runwayml.com, come up here and click request access, click on this request access button and get on the waiting list. And the second thing you've got to do is join their Discord. And the reason you've got to join the Discord is similar to Midjourney, this whole thing runs inside of Discord. So all of the generations that you create, you do it inside of Discord. And also similar to Midjourney, you can look back and see some of the other generations that people have made and get ideas of what they're doing. So this one right here, for example, you can see they have this image of a car that looks like it's out of Grand Theft Auto or something, and they've got this video here. And if we look over here on the right, you can see in this thread here, this is the video that it generated. So pretty cool stuff. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Gen 1, and I didn't really realize this until I actually got into the platform, is right now it really only creates about three second videos. And if you watch a lot of their teaser reels and all the videos that have been circulating so far, all of the videos are real short in length. They've just strung a lot of them together. So you'll see these videos, which looks like these really cool long animations. But if you notice, they're all just sort of three second clips strung together. So all of the videos you'll see as you're scrolling through here are all three second generations. Now I've downloaded a few videos here from a stock video site, and these are some of the videos I'm gonna play around with. So we've got this video of a woman dancing. I've got this video of a man canoeing down a river. This one of a woman running through a tulip field. And this one of somebody snowboarding through the mountains. I wanna use these four quick videos and see what kind of generations I can get. Now, in order to get some real stylistic stuff, I wanna blend it with Midjourney because I just love the way that Midjourney images come out. So as you can see in a lot of these, you take an image and you take a video and you mash them together. So let's go create an image in Midjourney real quick. So first I'm gonna create an image, a man made out of volcanic lava. Let's just see what that gives us. All right, so we have some pretty cool generations here. I wonder what would happen if I blended one of these with like my snowboarder and let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and upscale. I think this number four looks pretty cool. So let's upscale number four here. All right, so here's our upscaled version. I'm gonna go ahead and open it in the browser. I'll download this real quick. And now let me jump back into Discord here and let's do our first generation here in Runway. In order to do this, we type at gen one and then we attach our video video and our image. So let me pull open my folder here. Let's bring in our snowboarding man and let's bring in our volcano man here and submit it. Let's see what happens. It's gonna take a second to upload the video file and you can see it created this little thread over here with details about what's going on. And there's a little timer here to show that it's working. It looks like when I look at some of these past videos up here, it takes roughly four or five minutes to finish the generation. So we'll go ahead and wait and see what happens. All right, and it looks like our our video is ready. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Here's what we got with our snowboarding man on fire. Look at that. <laughs> and again, they're only about three seconds long. Let's go ahead and take another quick look at that. It's so cool. It's like a dude made out of lava and his snowboard's on fire. <laughs> All right, so let's go generate another image in Mid Journey real quick. For the girl dancing, let's do, let's make it like a real colorful sort of like rave environment. So let's go imagine a colorful neon rave party. And let's go ahead and add neon core. And let's go ahead and make it an aspect ratio of 16.9 just because the video itself is also 16.9. So let's just see if that has any effect on things. Okay, so these are some awesome colors. I'm really, really digging this a lot. Uh, this one down here is just creepy. I'm not sure how that's a neon rave party. Let's go ahead and grab this top right one. This one will probably blend really well with the girl dancing. So let's go ahead and upscale number two here and we'll play with that one. And while we're waiting for this, might as well make a few more images. So for the one with the girl running through the flowers, I was thinking about blending it with some sort of like, 
like rainbow candy land kind of thing. So let's just go imagine a rainbow candy land filled with unicorns and glitter. Yeah, that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add RGB because I want it to be real colorful. And I'm going to add the rainbow emoji to it. And then I'm going to add the aspect ratio 16.9 on this one as well. And then for the guy that's canoeing down the river, I wanted something a little bit darker. So let's do, imagine an ancient Aztec rainforest. And then let's just do aspect ratio 16.9. And let's go ahead and see what that generates. And that way I'll have all of my images ready so we can have kind of all of our generations going at the same time. All right, so I got my neon core image here. Let's go ahead and open this in the browser. I'll go ahead and download this one. We got some images for our rainbow unicorn candy land here. So let's go ahead and take this one in the bottom right here. I'm gonna upscale number four. And now we've got some options for our Aztec rainforest. These all look really, really cool. Let's go ahead and upscale number three here. All right, so we got our rainbow candy land image here. Save it and we got our ancient Aztec village here. So I'll go ahead and open this in the browser and save that. I'm gonna jump back over here to runway. So the next video I wanna play around with is this one of the woman dancing in a studio here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one in over here. And then I wanna combine it with this neon rave party image that I generated. So let's pull this one in here as well. And then we'll just tag at Jen one and let that one run. All right, so this one is now ready. This one took quite a bit longer. I think the amount of time it takes for it to generate might be based on how many people are also generating at the same time. You can see I started this generation here at 5.07 and it completed at 5.18. So it took about 11 minutes to generate this one, but uh, let's go ahead and check it out here. All right, so that's pretty cool looking. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the next two going. So they're both kind of going at the same time. And then after that, we're gonna mess with some of the settings and see what some of the settings do. Cause you can see that there's all sorts of things down here that we can play with. So for my next one, I'm gonna use this clip of this woman running through the tulips here. And I'm gonna combine it with that Candyland image and see what it comes up with. So I'll go ahead and pull this one in down here, pull in this rainbow Candyland image here. And let's go ahead and tag at gen one. And this time I'm gonna also add a text prompt to it cause you can also give it a little bit extra of what you're looking for using text prompts. So I'm gonna say woman running through colorful candy land. And we'll go ahead and let it generate that. So now you can see that it's got a text prompt and this video and this colorful image and we'll see what the text prompt actually contributes to it. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go ahead and upload my final one here, which is going to be this man canoeing right here combined with this ancient Aztec village here. All right, so I've pulled both those in and this one I'm also gonna do a text prompt again with it, a man canoeing through an ancient Aztec river. Let's go ahead and let that generate. And it actually looks like our Candyland one is ready here. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this one and see what we get. And this is what this one generated. Pretty cool colors. They're just so short. All right, so now let me go ahead and close out of that one. We've got our Aztec one running here. All right, and our canoe video is ready. So let's take a peek at this one and here's what we get. Okay, so this one is really cool. <laughs> it's interesting because it kind of made it look like his face is sort of made out of the same stuff the statue is made out of, but it still came out pretty dang cool. Like I just love the color palette of it. Now, what I wanna do here is I've got these four threads you can see I've got my thread here with our snowboarder that we created. I've got my thread with our dancer here. We've got our thread with the girl running through a colorful candy land and then our thread with our Aztec canoeer. Now, when you first log into Gen 1, they do have a little welcome area here. And this video from Ian from Wenray here explains what all of the various things do. So the first time you get into Gen 1, you're gonna wanna watch that video and learn about what they all do. But one piece of advice he gives right here is if your generation is ending too soon, try increasing the subsampling value to three or four. To get more dramatic results, try increasing the depth blur level value and the CFG scale value while generating. So I wanna try to get more dramatic results and I also wanna try to get longer results. So let's play around with some of those numbers. So in order to do that, we're gonna come into this thread. So I'll start with this one with the girl dancing here and we're gonna go 
at gen one, put a space, and then we're gonna go dash dash. We're gonna grab this subsampling word here and we'll paste it in. There's not supposed to be any spaces after the dashes. So just dash dash subsampling and then no colon here. And then let's go ahead and turn this to a four. Now let's go ahead and mess with the depth blur level here. So I'll copy this depth blur level. We'll put a dash dash, add the depth blur level, put a space. It's currently set at two. So let's go ahead and put it at a one and see what happens. And then let's mess with our CFG scale a little bit. Let's go ahead and copy this, put our dash dash, paste that in here. It's at 8.5 now. Let's go ahead and set it at 10. So the subsampling, I'm hoping it'll make it a little bit longer. And then it said for more dramatic results, mess with the depth blur level and the CFG scale. So let's just change those and see what the results are. All right, so it looks like we do need to upload the video and image again. So we'll go ahead and put our at gen one and I'm gonna paste this same thing back in here. And then I need to pull in our woman dancing into the same thread here, along with our colorful neon rave party image. I'll go ahead and add a text prompt this time. Colorful neon rave party. All right, so I'm um, using the same video the same original image, but I'm adding a text prompt this time, colorful neon rave party, changing the subsampling to four, the depth blur to one, and the CFG scale to 10. And let's go ahead and let it regenerate. All right, so let's take a peek at what these changes did. So here's our woman dancing with our rave colors. It looks like it got a little bit longer, not a whole lot longer, still, still about three seconds ish, but it changed the color completely because I believe it used a different seed. And then we also used a different CFG scale and a different depth blur level. So all of those had a big impact on it. Now I also tweaked some things on our guy canoeing here. This time I set the depth blur level to three and the temporal scale to 10 because I wanted to see how that would change things. And you can also see that it automatically changed the seed as well. I could have had it use the same seed, but I went ahead and let it make a new seed. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this one. This just looks so cool to me. I just love the color scheme of it. Still doesn't seem like it got a whole heck of a lot longer, but it looks pretty dang cool. Now, another thing that we can try is you can upload a video without an image and then give it a text prompt for what you want it to change that image to. So let's go ahead and upload our woman dancing again here and let's tag at gen one, but this time I'm not even gonna upload an image. Let's just go ahead and say an anime girl dancing and let's just leave it at that and let's see if it can figure out how to turn this video into an anime girl dancing. All right, so here's what it generated with that. Let's take a peek. I mean, the face is a little bit creepy, but it's pretty cool that it generated an anime girl dancing from what I started with there. Now, one last thing that's really cool that you can do is I also set this compare to true. I did this on my snowboarder video and check out what this does. When you turn on the compare, it gives it this little animation where it switches between it. And that to me, it looks really cool. I just love that effect of here's the original, here's the new one. That swipe effect is really, really cool. So you can do that with any video that you make. You just do it in the same way where you tag at gen one, and then you would just set the compare to true. So I would do it like this. I would go at gen one dash dash compare space true. And then obviously I would upload my original video and prompts and whatever else I was doing. I absolutely love playing with stuff like this. Like I'm probably not gonna sleep tonight. I'm probably just gonna keep on generating more videos inside of gen one. Now again, it is closed off. They've let roughly 230-ish people into this already, but they are opening up spots. When I was in here yesterday, there was only 200 people in here. Today there's 230. So they are rolling it out to people on the wait list. I am seeing more and more people join this. If you want to get in on this, the direct link here is research.runway.ml slash gen one. And then you can click on request access and fill out the wait list form. And then again, because it is in discord, you're gonna wanna join their discord. And again, stuff like this is just gonna keep on improving and improving. It's only a matter of time before we can generate longer videos. I can't wait till I can upload like a minute long video and have it generate just this awesome animation. And as computational power gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, we're gonna be able to do stuff like that. As GPUs get better and better, we're gonna have the ability to just generate amazing animations and videos. Today it's three seconds, but give it a couple of months and our minds are gonna be blown by the type of stuff we're gonna be able to generate with tools like Gen 1 and what companies like Runway are coming out with right now. So I just can't get enough of this stuff. I love nerding out about it. 
I think I say the words nerding out a little too much, but it's true. I'm just a huge nerd. I love shiny objects. I love all of these digital toys that are coming out nowadays, and I love showing them off to you. So get on the wait list. Go play with Gen 1. Runway's an awesome company. In fact, one of the creators behind this was one of the creators behind Stable Diffusion. So these are OGs in the space that have been developing this kind of stuff for a while now. And I'm excited to see where this goes. And if you like nerding out about this stuff with me, head on over to futuretools.io. This is where I share all of the coolest tools that I'm coming across. I add a ton every single day. As of right now, there's over a thousand of them. And if a thousand's a little too overwhelming for you, well, the search functionality and the little toggles up here make it really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. But still, if you're too lazy for that, click on join the newsletter. Every Friday, I send you just the five coolest tools that I came across over the week from probably a hundred that I looked at. I also send you a handful of cool news articles, a handful of cool YouTube videos, and one cool way to make money with AI. And I send it every Friday. It's basically the TLDR of the week in AI. And I really think you're going to dig it. It's all available over at futuretools.io. Oh, so head on over there and thank you so much for tuning in to this channel and this video. I really, really appreciate you. This channel has grown faster than I ever imagined and it's because people like you keep watching my videos. So thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate you. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the subscribes. You guys are amazing. And I love that there's people out there that are enjoying this cool, nerdy AI tech as much as I am. So love you guys. Thanks so much. See you guys in the next one. Bye.